Huddle. I'm Denise Jones, and I'm here with Matt Demecki on up? a Friday, Friday Labor Day weekend. Labor. Let's go. We it's gonna be a good weekend. No, I'm just chilling. You know, I'm chilling. Labor Day weekend. So nice, man. Kick him back. I think I'm back. doing the same thing. Well, here we go. Yeah. Lamelo Ball released shoes yesterday, making him the first high school ball player with his own shoe on the market. That's insane. Problem is, it could make him ineligible for the NCAA because of the profit from the shoes. Matt. You still view LeVar as smart, or is he really hurting his kids at this point? You know I'm a big advocate for Le uh, LeVar, you know, so I think at this moment, I think it's hurting him. Really? Yeah, because th th now it's getting to the point, I think it's fantastic that LaMelo has his own shoes. Like, I, I think that's incredible. Like, the first high school kid ever, mm -hmm. like, how many people can say that? So, the fact that LeVar is now interfering with his future right that's where it gets like a little kind of crazy you know because he know he's already committed to ucla right and he's gonna be a junior next year so the fact that ucla might not even let him in because he's profiting off his own shoes or the ncaa at least i don't know i i think this one uh i don't know it's it's hurting i i really strongly think that he's he has a vision like he has a big vision for himself his kids his family and and the future of the profit that these basketball players make so I feel like he's still helping them just showing them by showing them that hey look this is what can happen but you can be the first person that is the one that changes the rules yeah. like it's a new time it's new rules and yeah. he's one of those people he's a huge advocate for you know not going by the system but right? I think I think now the NCAA the thing with the NCAA is they're set on the rules you know it's like yeah, LeVar could come in. Well, I mean, in it's a bunch of old heads. And if they see, exactly, and if they yeah. recognize that, oh, well, this kid, you know, the if they recognize the marketing that, that LaMelo and the Ball family do with these shoes, they can probably think, okay, well, maybe that's something that we can carry over. Maybe you can come in as a consultant, obviously a higher position than that, and show us your ways. But I think, you know, I think a lot of America, they don't like LeVar Don't you think and the that's family? a stupid rule, though? I, no, I think it's absolutely so stupid. I think the rules are ridiculous. Enough for, yeah. to, isn't it stupid enough for it to be, you know, maybe diminished in the next coming years? I, I don't think so. You don't I, think so? No, I think they're going to hold their shoot. ground. Like, I mean, even in 2017, the only they're reason, The out. only way they're going to they're gonna stop holding their ground, or the only reason they're going to consider even holding their ground is if LaMelo makes more money than they anticipated. I think they they, he will, though. And, I think and the will. thing is, once that happens, you don't think they're going to be like, okay, well, this guy's a market player we can profit off of him let's definitely see what he's doing he's obviously doing something right so let's take advantage and see how we can use that on our I, side I just think the NCAA will look at more as I don't want them making money rather than we can profit off of them I'm telling you they profit off kids and they're playing for free basically they are playing for you know, free but they NCAA, don't have their own shoes the, and they have nothing else to offer them like the NCAA has more to offer them oh they have kids. everything to no, no, offer no. yeah it, it, I'm talking about the players that don't have any shoes or okay any. okay so okay, gotcha. the, the, these guys the NCAA has more to offer them than it can be reciprocated and I feel like in LaMelo's case and the Ball family's case yeah. they're coming like head to head because if this marketing strategy works then they have something more to offer than just an athlete who can play in the NCAA. Yeah, I, I just think, going back to this, I think LaMelo's shoes are actually better than those Zotus. Way better, Zotus by the way, trash. way better. And I, I think that, that, what is it, 350? That 350, 395. 395, that price point is a little crazy for some high school kid. But hey, high school students might buy them, you know? So, Especially, I mean, and again, good. they're hot shoes. Yeah. They're yeah, hot yeah. shoes. So let's get to the end of the week, L's. Who is your L going to? Oh man, mine has to be Le'Veon Bell. You know, I mean, Le'Veon right now, he's holding out for a contract. Season starts next Sunday. Um, it was funny because he had a post where the dude's applying for Dairy Queen now. Right, it's just horrible. to troll everybody. <laughs> he's saying everybody's getting paid. Antonio Brown's getting paid. Uh, ben Roethlisberger's making a good amount of money. Martavius Bryant's in line to get paid. So, I mean, bro, just play this season. <laughs> play one year. Get your contract at the end of the year because the Steelers are going to want you. Bro, take that out, man. And he might get that job at Dairy Queen, so he might go to Dairy Queen for a year and That'd come be, back and play for the Steelers. That'd you know? be pretty nice. My end of the week L is, is gonna go to Lonzo, but it, it's in a pretty petty way, just because your shoe wasn't all that and we were all getting oh, so much man. hype over a $500 shoe and it really wasn't all that. Your little brother comes in and says, hey guys, I wanna release a shoe too. And it ends up being kind of better than his. So a lot better than his, those Zotus are There trash, might be man. some collaboration that needs to happen, Lonzo, for your shoe to really like be up there with Melo. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. We're going to get started with our Labor Day weekend. It's going to be um, good. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. And we'll see you guys next week.